Welcome aboard YouTube. Thank you so much for joining. I just want to do a quick shout out and let you know about this exciting new certification that Google Cloud has come out with. It is the Google Cloud Certified Professional Cloud Developer Certification. Uh, it is in beta mode now. Beta mode meaning that it is not production ready. It is available for you to take at a reduced price. Uh, it's going to be uh, 100 plus questions is from the understanding I have. And uh, it'll be uh, four hours of fun of answering questions uh, if you want to deal with that. Now, as, as one that has taken every beta exam pretty much known to man, it seems like, um, one of the things that are good about beta exams, especially if... Um, you know, I want to get ahead of the game or, or learn things as quickly as possible. Uh, they provide a lot of insight into where the certification will go. Now, generally what happens in a beta exam is about half the questions will be taken out, maybe 30%. It depends. I don't know Google's rationale on how they handle things, but I know when I've developed certifications for CompTIA and Brocade and Itachi, generally um, you take the, the top 10% and the top uh, the bottom 10% that is, uh, or 20%, and then you basically um, go in and you remove those from the production pool, and then you then weed out some more questions, and then you have your production exam. And in other words, you don't want to have too many questions that everyone gets right and too many questions that everyone gets wrong generally. But with that said, so what do you want to do for this exam? This exam is going to be a very difficult exam if you're not a developer. Matter of fact, I'm going to advise you not to take the exam if you're not a developer. Why? Because if you're not used to developing applications that are cloud ready, that can integrate into Google Cloud, you're not going to have a really good foundation in the first place for the exam, and you'll need a lot of ramp up time. And the reality is, is you want to go out and get your architect or your engineer exam first, or better yet, the data engineer exam. That's more focused. But if you want to really show how wonderful you are at developing, this exam is for you. Now, what I'd recommend you do is go over here, review that you're comfortable with everything. Um, it is in beta registration until December 28th or 29th, it looked like. It depends on the testing center, um, So, uh, but definitely until the end of the year. Uh, however, if you're in some locations, uh, such as Jacksonville, uh, you may not have a lot of choices in where you can take the exam. However, if you're in a larger city like uh, D.C. or um, Atlanta, then you, there's plenty of choices. Um, they do use Criterion. Uh, I've got my thoughts on that. That's another story. So you want to go over here and register. Uh, it is in uh, beta, uh, and they do use Criterion, as you see, Web Assessor. Okay. Now, what you want to do is go and review what is called the outline. There is a sample case study. This is a little different than uh, what they did in the cloud architect exam, where there is four uh, case study questions, uh, four case studies for the question pool. Uh, now the cloud architect has three case studies for the question pool. Now, the developer looks like it's going to have one, at least for the beta exam. That's what they're showing you here. It is called hip local. So you definitely need to spend some time on it. And then uh, you'll go down and look at um, each of the sections. I'm not going to read them out to you, uh, but I would recommend that you get comfortable with everything here. And next week, I'll be posting an update on the uh, exam after I take it, and I'll have a better idea of where to go. I just want to do a quick shout out uh, and let you know it's available, but also to give you a heads up that there'll be a course or two on this. I've already uh, working with a couple of organizations to get them online here by January, uh, but there will be something on Udemy, uh, practice questions, as well as a small boot camp for this. Uh, but this is a uh, exam that really requires a full three days of training, in my opinion. It, it, there's a lot to this just by looking at this. But if you're not a developer, then I don't recommend you take the exam uh, unless you want to take it for fun. Uh, but generally, people don't take beta exams for fun. I'll leave that up to you. Um, but you'll see a lot of keywords like continuous integration, blue-green, canary deployments. Uh, agile, you name it. So um, traffic splitting, rolling deployments. 
then the other thing I want to point out too is, uh, oddly enough, it you know again don't take the uh, number of objectives and, and how large the section is as how many questions may be tested on that section. For example, like uh, they have just a few areas here on um, basically developing debugging. That doesn't mean that you won't get slammed by those questions. You don't know. So definitely take a look at uh, the different areas, diagnose, manage, monitor, deploy, integrate. That's what you're gonna be tested on. Uh, and, and again, it's all about the Google Cloud Services and what service is the right service to deploy this application on and how would you deploy it on that application. With that said, Joe Holbert, Cloud Tech Guy, over and out. Please subscribe below. Catch you later.